Well, many indoor activities such as going to the movies, mini golf and bowling took a hit when the pandemic first started. News 10's Bree Shackelford spoke with a Terre Haute bowling alley today. She explains how that business has handled the pandemic and how it's staying afloat. Bowling has been a favorite pastime for many people. It was a way to do something fun to escape the brutal heat in the summer and frigid temperatures in the winter. But things changed last summer when a local bowling alley had to close its doors when the pandemic hit. Terre Haute Bowling Center has been open for more than 40 years. During its time of operation, the bowling center hosted multiple state and national bowling tournaments, while also giving residents of the Wabash Valley a unique place to bowl. President Rick Braden says when the pandemic first hit, the bowling alley was worried about when it would be able to open back up again. We were closed for five months. Uh, we had to lay off everybody except for our full-time people, which we, uh, we were able to pay. But uh, even today, we're not back to where we were before the pandemic started. Braden tells me when the alley did open back up, it had to open with changes to make sure everyone was staying safe. So changes have evolved due to guidelines becoming less strict. But Braden says the bowling alley is still doing what it needs to do in order to keep everyone safe. Uh, we make sure that the uh, shoes are sanitized, the bowling balls are cleaned, the seating areas are constantly clean. So uh, with everybody's joint uh, uh, getting together and do that, uh, there's, there's no problems. He says the constant support from the community has been tremendous during this time. Whether that's just following new guidelines or continuing to come out to bowl in these uncertain times, Braden says he's thankful for everyone. You know, you, you become like family, so uh, it's great to see them back and, and they're gradually coming back again and, and we're just, we're very thankful that, that they are. Looking ahead to the future, Braden tells me he can't wait to be back to normal and hopes to hold future bowling tournaments once again. Back to you.